Our story begins not in a film studio, but in a dusty Chinese pharmacy in the 1930s. There, a German paleontologist named Ralph von Koningswald discovered something incredible. A fossilized molar tooth sold as a dragon tooth for traditional medicine. But it was no dragon. It was something far more real. The tooth was enormous, four times the size of a modern gorilla's. He knew he had found a new species, an ape of unimaginable size. He named it Gigantopithecus blackeye, the giant ape. This was no myth. For nearly two million years, this real-life Kong reigned over the subtropical forests of Southeast Asia. Fossil evidence shows it stood up to 10 feet tall and weighed over 1,200 pounds. Its arms were long and immensely powerful. Its sheer mass made it a ground dweller, too heavy to climb trees like its smaller cousins. But it was not a monster. It was a specialist, a herbivore. Its huge jaw and massive teeth were not for hunting, but for crushing and grinding tough vegetation like bamboo. Its power was defensive, a shield against the predators of its time. For millennia, it was the undisputed king of its domain, but its specialization would become its fatal flaw. As the climate changed and its forest home shrank, Gigantopithecus, the real King Kong, vanished forever, leaving only giant teeth and a legend.